Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new topic in Science 7 which is all about layers of the atmosphere. This will be the fourth quarter topic and week 3. This topic is a milk paste. For the most essential learning competencies, after going through this lesson, you are able to discuss how energy from the sun interacts with the layers of the atmosphere. Specifically, you are expected to identify the different layers of the atmosphere and describe how the Earth's natural greenhouse effect The Earth's relatively thin atmosphere primarily consists of a mixture of gases. Shown in Figure 1, the atmosphere contains 78% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen gas. The remaining 1% contains several inactive gases such as argon, neon, helium, hydrogen, and xenon, and several other gases that vary in concentration, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, and chlorofluorocarbons. Although water vapor and carbon dioxide make up a very small amount of the gases in Earth's atmosphere, they are very important because of their ability to absorb heat. The following are the layers of the atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere has a series of layers, each with its own specific traits. Figure 2 shows the layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Moving upward from ground level, these layers are named the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. The exosphere gradually fades away into the realm of interplanetary space. The atmosphere division of layers depend on how temperature changes with height. The first layer of the atmosphere is the troposphere. The temperature in troposphere decreases from 17 degrees Celsius to negative 51 degrees Celsius. The characteristics of troposphere, it is the lowest region of the Earth's atmosphere. The second one is that is it where we live and most weathers occur and it is where the ground level ozone is found. It is considered as bad ozone because it is an air pollutant that damaged the human health, vegetation and many common materials. The second layers of the earth is the stratosphere. The temperature in stratosphere increases from negative 51 degrees Celsius to negative 15 degrees Celsius. The characteristics of the stratosphere are the following. It is the only layer where jets can travel and it is where the protective ozone is found. It is considered as good ozone because it protects life on earth from the harmful effects of the sun's ultraviolet rays. The characteristics of the ozone in the stratosphere, it is comprises of 90% of the stratosphere and it is found between 16 and 48 kilometers or 10 and 30 miles above the earth's surface.
Another layers of the atmosphere is the mesosphere. The temperature in mesosphere decreases up to negative 100 degrees Celsius. The characteristics of the mesosphere are the following. First, it is the coldest region of the atmosphere. The second one, it extends from the top of the stratosphere to an altitude of about 90 kilometers. And the last one is that, is it the layer that protects the Earth by burning up meteors while entering the atmosphere? The fourth layer of the atmosphere is the thermosphere. The temperature in thermosphere increases from 500 degrees Celsius to 2000 degrees Celsius. The characteristics of the thermosphere are the following. First, its air molecules are one kilometer apart. The second one, it is the first layer exposed to sun's radiation, so it is the first heated by the sun. The third one, it is often considered the hot layer because it contains the warmest temperature in the atmosphere. The fourth one, it is the layer where satellites are found. And the last one, it is where the ionosphere is found. In thermosphere, the characteristics of ionosphere is that it is the lower part of the thermosphere. The second one is it allows long-distance radio communication by reflecting the radio waves back to Earth. And the last one, it is where the aurora borealis or the northern lights are the ethereal display of color lights shimmering across the night sky is found. Another layers of the atmosphere is the exosphere. The temperature in exosphere varies from very hot to very cold. The characteristics of exosphere are the following. The first one is that it is the upper part of the thermosphere. The second one, it is the actual final frontier of the Earth's gaseous 